To new developments in the discovery of three bodies in a Riverside County cemetery. Detectives now know who the victims were. CBS 2 Inlet Empire reporter Nicole Comstock is live in Paris with what she's learned. Nicole. Well, Pat Sheriff Bianco said today at a press conference that he was holding that primarily to let everyone who lives in Paris know they do not need to be concerned for their own family safety because these three men were found dead here near a gravesite at the cemetery just yesterday. He also wanted to let everyone know that these killings do not appear to be related to several other homicide investigations within the city just within the past couple of weeks here. But at the same time, the sheriff said that these killings here appear to be done execution style and that investigators were looking into the possibility that they were also cartel related. Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco said he expected to be releasing the identities of the victims later this evening and that it appears one of the victims may have been related to the man buried in the gravesite on top of which all of those bodies were found yesterday. Sheriff Bianco confirmed that his department was also receiving information that the man whose gravesite these men were killed at was a local restaurant owner who was recently murdered in Mexico in a cartel killing. He said his homicide detectives were still investigating that possibility. He also said they have received several tips from the public about the three men killed here yesterday and were working to track down their killer. He said it does also appear that their killer was trying to send out some sort of message, but it's not clear what that message was or who it was going to. Take a listen. To dispel any rumors, we do not have a serial killer on the loose in, in the area of Paris. Uh, they are isolated incidents with specific facts of their own. And uh, at this time, uh, we don't believe they are related in any way, shape, or form. Social media is not the platform to report criminal activity. If there's criminal activity, you hear something going on, <clears throat> excuse me, seeing something, please call the police. This is the best way to get this communicated, not, not via social media. And that was Paris Mayor Michael Vargas, who also addressed the recent spike in violence across the city. He said his council was planning on meeting next Thursday to address that and see if they could get some more police patrols in the area. Back out here live, Sheriff Bianco uh, was not ready to say yet exactly how these three men were killed here or how they were brought into the cemetery here, which appeared to be closed at the time. They say they do have a surveillance system here on site. For now, reporting live in Paris, Nicole Comstock, CBS 2 News.